Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the newest version of the MIUI ROM 1916 which is running on the gingerbread kernel. I'll also be showing you how to install the extended settings mod which will allow you to customize your status bar. There are a couple of things that have changed with this ROM since my last review and I'll touch on them now briefly. The built-in recovery now works along with the ability to change the boot animation. One thing that they are still apparently working on is the widescreen setting for the camera. It appears to work, but after snapping a photo you'll quickly realize that the picture comes out blurry. Until this is fixed, you can still use the camera by setting it on any other resolution in the camera settings. There's a few advantages to running MIUI on the gingerbread kernel. The biggest one is that it should give you better battery life than what you've gotten on previous versions with the Froyo kernel. Another good thing to note here about this change is that the Droid X device should eventually be merged with the official MIUI tree. Instead of having to wait for the updates to be ported over for the Droid X, it should be available in a timely manner every Friday along with the rest of the officially supported devices. It should also be noted that from here on out, MIUI's newest updates will only be for the gingerbread kernel. Any version of MIUI before the 1916 update is meant to be installed on the Froyo kernel only. The 1916 update and versions after that are meant to be installed on the gingerbread kernel. Now we'll get started with the installation. Please make sure you're either on CM7 with the gingerbread kernel or you're on stock rooted gingerbread version 4.5.602. The easiest way to get there if you're not already is to SBF to stock gingerbread 602 and then root the phone using the one click method. Links for the step-by-step -step tutorials are in the description and on the screen. You will not be able to install this if you're running a gingerbread custom ROM such as Apex, Suji, and Sensei Mod 602. If you're coming from a ROM, it must be one that uses the second initialization process during boot such as CM7GB. To get started, you want to download the zip file from the description and put it on the root of your SD card for easy navigation. When I say root, I mean in no folders. Please take a moment to do that now. Next, you'll need to boot into Clockwork Recovery to install the zip file. If you're currently on CM7, you'll hold down the power button and hit Reboot, Recovery, and then OK. If you're on stock, rooted gingerbread, you'll need to go into the market and download and install Droid 2 Bootstrapper in order to get into recovery. Open the app, tap Bootstrap Recovery, tap Allow, and then tap OK, then Reboot Recovery. Once you're in Clockwork Recovery, you'll use the volume keys to scroll and the camera button to select. Making a backup at this point is strongly suggested when changing ROMs. Scroll to Backup and Restore, hit the camera button, make sure you're on backup, and hit the camera button again. Once that's done, scroll to Wipe Data Factory Reset, hit the camera button. Scroll to Yes, hit the camera button. Now scroll to Wipe Cache Partition and the camera button. Scroll to Yes and the camera button again. Now scroll to Advanced. Hit the camera button. Scroll to Wipe Dalvik Cache, press the camera button. Now scroll to Yes and the camera button again. Scroll to Install Zip from SD Card, hit the camera button. Scroll to Choose Zip from the SD Card, hit the camera button. Press the top volume key to get to the bottom of the list and find the zip file that you downloaded. Hit the camera button. Scroll to Yes and hit the camera button again. Once that's done, hit the back button and make sure you're on reboot system now. Hit the camera button. The phone will now reboot into your new ROM. If you get stuck in a boot loop for longer than 10 minutes, you'll need to do a factory reset and stock recovery. If you're not familiar with that process on Gingerbread, please see my step-by-step -step tutorial linked in the description and on the screen. Once the phone boots up, you'll need to go into the Super User app and hit Menu, then Settings. Turn the root permission setting to on. If you don't do this, you won't be able to use root apps. Now I'm going to show you how to install the extended settings mod by Andy Thompson. This mod will allow you to change your battery indicator, clock format and color, date format, and even overscrolling effect. The coolest feature of this mod though, in my opinion, is the carrier text options. You can hide the carrier text, change the color, change the text, or even display a custom carrier logo if you're familiar with how to replace image files in a theme. To install the extended settings mod, download the zip file from the link in the description and place it on the root of your SD card. Unplug your phone from the computer. Hold down the power button and select reboot, then clockwork mod recovery, then select OK. 
Once you're in recovery, scroll down and select Mounts. Make sure you're on Mount System and select it. Now press the back key and scroll to install zip from SD card. Press the camera button. Make sure you're on choose zip from SD card and hit the camera button again. Now scroll to the bottom of the list and find the zip file that you downloaded named ESWrite. Hit the camera button. Scroll to yes and the camera button again. When it's done, hit the back button and make sure you're on reboot system now. Hit the camera button. After the phone reboots, you should now have an app named MIUI Control. Open it and set everything to your liking. If you enjoy this ROM, please consider donating to the developer Framework, who is responsible for bringing this ROM to the DroidX. You can hit me up on Twitter at RageXMods if you have questions or you want to get updates on my videos. If this video helped you, make sure you subscribe so you can check out more step-by-step -step tutorials and ROM reviews.